Well, tomorrow is the first day of a brand new school year for many school districts. This includes Memphis Shelby County Schools, Lakeland, Millington, Arlington, Bartlett, as well as Tipton and Fayette counties. As the state's largest school district gears up for the first day of school tomorrow, school resource officers stations throughout Memphis Shelby County Schools have been busy making sure safety protocols are in place to keep everyone safe. Action News 5's Walter Murphy joins us live from MSCS headquarters with the details. Hey, Walter. Hey, Tavaria. So, unfortunately, gun safety and school and school safety are two things that all parents, teachers, and students have to deal with. And last week, right here in Memphis, that fear got a little more real after an armed, un, after an armed gunman tried to break into Margo Lynn Hebrew Academy. Luckily, nobody was hurt during that incident. And today, the Shelby County Sheriff's Office told me that they're trying to do everything in their power to make sure that it stays that way in the upcoming school year. As a parent myself, uh, of course, there's a certain level of anxiousness that happens on the first day of school. You want to know, is my or will my child be safe during the school year? Chief Deputy Anthony Buckner with the Shelby County Sheriff's Office says as both a parent and law enforcement officer, he feels confident that answer is yes. And that's because Buckner says the more than 50 school resource officers that his office has stationed throughout the Memphis Shelby County School District are trained and prepared for worst case scenarios. And that's because they've been reviewing, adjusting, and rethinking their tactics in the wake of the Covenant School shooting in Nashville last spring, as well as the incident right here in Memphis last Monday, when an armed man tried to gain access to Margo Lynn Hebrew Academy. Certainly last week caused us to kind of look once again at our protocols and also have conversations with our deputies about the latest threats and how we can get in front of them and try to avoid them all together. Nothing is more important and making sure that Tennessee students and teachers return home from school safely every day. A new tool Buckner says they have in their arsenal this year came directly from Governor Lee's school safety bill, which passed during the last legislative session. Specifically, the $75,000 grant Buckner says they've applied for, which will fund more school resource officers at schools throughout the district. And when it comes to looking ahead, Buckner is also optimistic about the special session called by Governor Lee that's set to take place on August 21st. Well, certainly guns are uh, on top of mind, uh, especially when we look at what occurred over the past week at our one of our local schools. Now, we don't know the facts of that case, but what we do know is that we need some meaningful gun legislation that will protect all of our citizens. Now, again, as we've mentioned multiple times over the past couple of weeks, that legislative session that is supposed to take place on August 21st, there's no guarantee that any meaningful legislation will get passed during that session, but we will keep you up to date. Until then, reporting live in Memphis, I'm Walter Murphy, Action News 5.